Hey guys, it's me, Hero Forever, and today I'm going to be talking about the development of Plane Crazy 2. Let me just start off by saying before we get into any of the information, facts, what we do know slash don't know, I got every bit of information in this video from the Plane Crazy developers themselves and or the Discord channel, so there is a lot to get into, but basically I think we have a pretty decent understanding of what to expect. So let's get right into it. So what exactly do we know? So to begin we're going to get a little bit technical and talk about the actual programming aspect and performance of the upcoming rewrite. So it's going to be soft coded opposed to hard coded. Apparently the first version was hard coded. I'm not a programmer but they said that's going to increase performance quite a bit and it's going to make it a lot easier for updates to happen in the future. The next little bit of information which is a pretty big deal development wise is they got more modelers they actually put out on their discord a little application thing you can fill out with prior experience and if they wanted to hire you to do a little bit of work towards making the development of the game go a little bit smoother and quicker so if you did want to take part in that opportunity it was available the next feature that's going to be added into the game was highly requested by so many people in the playing crazy community so i guess it's about time by now but it's going to be a resize tool we did have some clarifications to what it is going to be and what it's not going to be as of now for the main building blocks of the game we have the one the one by four and the one by seven this is a really good feature that they're adding in because it's going to help drastically reduce the amount of parts you use and now that we know that they're going to be loading a little bit quicker anyways it should have a lot better performance so it could really drastically save parts thus making the game a little bit less laggy now I'm not 100% sure on this but I don't think we're going to be able to change it by decimals for example if we wanted to change a block by let's say 0.25 which is a pretty common number in building on Roblox. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. If we can that's going to really open up a bunch of opportunities for building and allow for a lot more detail. This next change was also really highly requested. It's to do with the map and by the sounds of it we're going to get an infinite map system. I don't know how that's going to work. Could have its benefits definitely going to have its disadvantages. It's going to be randomly generated and it may be bordered by water at a certain point. The next feature they're adding in and expanding upon is a moderation system. I think to an extent this could be useful for people who spam blocks or try and slow down the server as that was a pretty big problem I noticed. Moving on to a more positive note they're going to be redesigning some of the parts. Something I found pretty interesting that they're changing about the servers is instead of it being maxed out at 10 people it's going to be aimed towards 20. So I think for the most part that could be good unless we run into performance issues. Otherwise we're going to be able to have more people in a server. And I assume they're still going to give you the option of having a private server too if you don't like having all of those people there. Something that surprises me even more is the current block loading time, especially with all these performance things that we're going to be running into with bigger servers, both people-wise and actual like literal game server-wise. Currently, we can load in 1,500 blocks in anywhere from 5 to 20 seconds, which actually is pretty slow, but they're estimating in this new rewrite that that's going to be able to happen in around 0.3 seconds. That's under a third of a second. One of the final things that we know for sure is going to be changed in this new rewrite is a new GUI system. This is partially because of the resize tool being added, so we're going to have an extra symbol GUI button to click on, but the layout might be different too. Alright, now for the big question. When is this going to be released? When can I play it? Well, what we do know is a little bit over a month ago, we were told that the game was 75% done being soft coded. I expect that number to be closer to 80 to 85% by now. And once they're done with that, I'm not sure what they're going to have to do for their next steps. I'm sure they'll let us know as time gets closer to that period. But probably within the next month or two, I can expect that they'd be done with the soft coding. And during that time, they have other people working on models and stuff. But taking everything into consideration and seeing the pace they're going at and already knowing that they're taking their time with it, they stated multiple times they're not going to rush it just to get it out. I think we're going to be told a release date around late November and I think it's going to be released sometime in January. And I think that's a pretty accurate guess considering a little while ago they told us they were planning on having it out sometime late 2021 to early 2022. So that could be December, January or very early February. But I think it's pretty safe to bet sometime before February it's going to be out. So we'll just have to keep up to date on that but it should be sometime pretty soon. But anyways that's all the information. I have for you guys. If you found this video helpful or useful or you enjoyed it, just go and drop me a like, maybe subscribe, drop me a comment, let me know. But anyways, thanks for watching.